Hello, it's Paul here at PNUK Training. I want to give you a very quick how to add a flag to a product page in Shopify. It's easy to do. All we got to do is add a custom field. So what we need is down, down the bottom, we need a custom field that's going to give us an option for the flag where we type in a two-digit country code. Go to settings, custom data, products, add a definition, and I'm going to call this one country. The one I use is from. You can use flag. You can use uh, country code. Whatever you want to do, just make it a unique name and then add single line text and save it. So now we have a country. So that, so this is our for the code later, product.metafields.custom.country. Whatever that is entered, so here it is at the top now, whatever's entered in here will change the country flag. So now I need to go change the template and add wherever you want it to be come up on the screen, you need to sort of work out where in the code to paste the following um, info. Hit online store and then hit the three dots, edit code. If you've already had it open, it'll open uh, to what you've previously been using. But for most people, the section you need to edit is in sections and it is in template product liquid. Don't be worried if you edit this up at the top here, you can always roll back to a previous working version. So if you accidentally copy the code in wrong and break something, then you do have the option to roll it back. But just obviously take your time and be careful what you do with it. Here is the code that brings the flag up. So as you can see, assign a country code to this field, product metafield.custom. So I said I used from, but I've just changed that to country. So whatever you, whatever you named your custom field, change it to that, so country. Then it's going to say, if there's a country code, then we need to go to this website, flagcdm.com, get the image at this size, add the country coast code in lowercase. So whatever this country code's been assigned, we're going to turn it to lowercase.png. So what that's going to do is jump over to that website and we're going to replace the country code here with a lowercase gb and that will give us that w160 size, the width 160 in the, um, the flag. Now, if you go here, you're going to see the different sizes. So they see the usage for the wavy flags. So I use wavy flags on the listing page. Oh, I don't know why I clicked there. That's not where I meant to go. Uh, the listing page, so if I go here, I use the little wavy flags. And then when I go onto a product page, I use a bigger, um, a bigger size solid flag. So to do that, you are either going to type in these sizes for the wavy flag, or you're going to use the W size, the W for the bigger ones, right? I'll make, I'll make that make a bit more sense. So here is where you define the size. And the sizes you can use are in here. So if we're going to use a solid one, the sizes we can use are up to uh, 25, well, 2560. 25, but I'm, let's just make it bigger to show you. So I'm going to put in W640. W640 will make it a very big flag. Now let me zoom out and save. So when I go back to that flag now, it's going to vanish. So if I refresh the page, sometimes the cache doesn't take straight away because I changed the product custom field. And the one I change it to is this country here. So if I put in GB, let's do it in uppercase to keep it same and click save. Now, if I give it a little bit of time to cache, there should be a larger flag appear. And it, sometimes it does take a while to, to hit. Come on. There we go. So now, yeah, it usually is third time the charge on the refresh. So now we've got a big flag that is being dictated to by the product here. So if we want to change that to España, which is what it is and change that oh and again sometimes third times a charge of sometimes the editing saving does take a little bit of time but that will change 
to a Spanish flag eventually. There we go. So when you go back to the coding, if you want to change it to a wavy flag, if you want this waving flag, then grab whatever size again. So what's that? That was like a 640. I guess the biggest one's this 256. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to code. I'm going to get rid of the W60. And I'm going to save that. So now we're going to get probably half the size, but a, we a wavy flag. I'm not sure if it will. It, and it took it first time. So now we get the wavy flag. So you've got the choices, whichever one you want. You've got the sizing. If you want a massive, what was I originally? 160. Now remember what I said. If you want to roll back, you can go here. Look, seven minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. So if I, if I want to, I can just roll it back. If you've changed code, you didn't like the changes, you've put it in the wrong place, save it. Find wherever you want that code and put it on your page, right? So this is going to put it back to my 160 size square. Maybe a bigger flag would look better. So hopefully that makes sense. All you've got to do is add that country code, uh, custom field. So you add the custom field. If you don't want it, you can go back and delete it. So I don't use that one. I use from. I'm going to get that. Delete it. So I can just delete it. Delete all the values. That's going to get rid of the country. And then you go to online store. Edit code. Find the template that you're going to edit. And then put in, paste in that setting. But make sure... Oh, Make sure that this is whatever the custom field that you have decided it's going to be. And that should have you all sorted. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to be doing lots more Shopify uh, quick how-tos. If you've got any questions on doing something else on your Shopify store, fire them into the comments. I will be putting some free training up where you can come and uh, join free training and a, a forum and things like that. All coming down the pipe, but hopefully that helps people trying to just say where's this product from or maybe where you can buy it things like that um makes sense hopefully hopefully it makes sense to you and was easy to do the code will be in the description of this uh video thanks for watching see you all again soon pnuk training paul pnuk or punk out